Something's happening. Good night, brothers and sisters. UPP Posse. Oh boy, they think we're done, but we just have come. Yes, I. Dear brothers and sisters, I bring you greetings from the wonderful constituent sea of St. John's City South. To you, the wonderful people in St. George's. And of course, you know, we're here tonight to lend our support to Sister Jackie. But the way I look at things here tonight, Jackie don't need no help, man. St. George's! Oh, you've got a great person in Sister Jackie who has done so much for education. And she has also done well for me as a junior minister in the Ministry of Sports, Boys Training School, and also the National School Meals Program. I want to start by telling you people that the hallmark of our parents is that we always want to make sure that our children do a little better than us. Isn't that correct? And so you, the elders, have made sacrifices to ensure that. And I want to tell you that that is very, very important because in the next few months, we will have an election. And of course, we are in serious times. And it is going to be dependent upon you to make some very crucial decisions as to whether or not you will rally behind our esteemed leader, the Honorable Dr. Baldwin Spencer, and the United Progressive Party to ensure that we have a third term to finish what we started. Before I came up here tonight, someone was mentioning the 500 homes in 500 days. Now, it takes no rocket scientist to figure this thing out. I am certainly not one, but I would like to let you know that, first of all, the building material. The building material will be, of course, duty-free. So, of course, places like Bargain Center and all the other lumber places won't get the kind of revenue they're supposed to get. Isn't that correct? So with that in mind, it means that perhaps with the 500 homes, it means that some people may have to be laid off because they will not make the kind of revenue that they would make. And then again, beside that, this is supposed to be some sort of stimulus, something which is supposed to stimulate the economy. But it is working the other way around because, of course, you're going to have to find the land. And, of course, you have to find the money. And from what I'm hearing is that they are prepared to use the social security, the medical, medical benefit, and any other statutory body's money to ensure that they do this. Now, I am in the Ministry of Sports, and we are promoting healthy lifestyles, and we are also trying to promote people to get engaged in some sort of physical activity. Now, people are going to live longer. <laughs> and of course, while people live longer, the social security and the medical benefit money is supposed to be there for the people who contributed to it to ensure that they live out the twilight years. Now, if they're prepared to use this money, where do you all think the people who have served this country, the public servants, how do you think they are going to survive? It just doesn't add up, does it? Does it add up? No. Now, I want to touch a little closer to home. Because, of course, as I said earlier, we are in serious times. And I've always said once I'm up here on a platform, I will not attack anyone personally. I haven't done so. 
But tonight I want to attack my opponent because he, he thinks that the people in St. John City South are fools. Oh, everybody is fool. Everybody are fools. He is a lawmaker, brothers and sisters, and he defends people who break the law. That does not make any kind of sense to me. He makes more money off a crime than anybody else in this country. But yet, this man goes on the air to talk about crime. Just recently, I heard that he defended a 42-year-old man who was accused of raping an 11-year-old. There are some things that you just don't take. If you are in government and you are re representing people, especially those wonderful people in St. John City South, you have to back away from a lot of things. But that is how he makes his money. And it is a conflict of interest, and I have no fear in saying that. The man was sentenced to 10 years, and I understand that he was pleading for the man that 10 years is too much, when that man should have been lost in jail. I want to tell all those out there who are listening here tonight in Radio Land that anytime anything that happens in this country because of a particular person who not only gets people off because they're innocent, but because of some technical issue, you who support that person is also a part of him. I have nothing at all to deal with anybody like that. We, we are from the same neighborhood. We grew up together. But that is as far as the similarity ends. And I want to tell him if he's listening tonight, his time is up. Because something is happening in St. John City South. The prayers that you have been praying for me is working. And he will be no more. Brothers and sisters, I want to be very serious with you tonight here. We are in difficult times. And we have passed the worst. I want to commend all of you for hanging in there. Making all the sacrifice to ensure that things stay on course in your family. But when the decision comes for you to rally behind this United Progressive Party, you can put your chest up in the air and do so by so to ensure that the United Progressive Party, under the leadership of Dr. the Honorable Baldwin Spencer, is returned to office. In 2015, I'm sorry, in 2005, 2005, nine schools started the school meal program. Today we have 22, along with three preschools. And it's our intention at the end of 2014 to ensure that all the government primary school is on this program. Now, in spite of all the difficulties and the challenges that we have had, we have not cut any of those programs, and we don't have any intention to do so, because we understand the plight of the people, and we have always put people first. If there are any change to that motto, I will be the first to leave. Brothers and sisters, stand firm. You have to stand firm to ensure that you give the United Progressive Party a third term. Stand on the side of righteousness and honesty and decency. Don't be fooled by those people who are all for themselves. And make sure that you give Jackie 
in St. George's. All the support because she has been doing a wonderful job. And I don't have the time tonight to explain all the wonderful things that she's doing. But I'll simply sum it up to say she has been tested and tried. And she has passed the test. And you have got to give her another five years to ensure that she continues to do the goodness that she's doing for the people in St. George's. Brothers and sisters, they are going to come at you in all shapes and form. And if you are vulnerable, they will hold you. So we have to stand together. Stand together to ensure that that light at the end of the tunnel, that we reach it. They have a style of, you know, of when you start building and things start to sail smoothly. They want to come. But when things were rough, they were not there. If they are good opposition, they would have at least come together with us as government. If there are any investors out there. But no, they don't have you at heart. They're all about themselves. And you have got to be wary of this. So brothers and sisters, I want you to stand firm behind this United Progressive Party. We have a great leader in our Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Baldwin Spencer. I am happy to be associated with Sister Jackie, Sister Joanne, Sister John, and all the other good candidates that will stand together because we are stronger to ensure that Antigua stay in safe and saints' hands. What if we were to make that mistake on election day? One mistake in a second could prove to be five years of horrors. We can't afford that. So your children, and yet they're unborn, they are dependent on you as the elders to show them the way and to direct them and to let them know that this is the only party of choice. This is the only party that have your heart. This is the only party that will help to move this Antigua and Barbuda forward to where it ought to be. So until I come again, brother, it's UPP now more than ever. UPP now more than ever. Stand behind Sister Jackie and make sure that she's returned to office yeah. to do the wonderful things that she's been doing. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Antigua and Barbuda. God bless the United Progressive Party. Hey.